Think about some of the most influential books of all time. Fahrenheit 451, To Kill a Mockingbird, Lord of the Flies, 1984. What do all of these books have in common? They were all originally banned by the United States. These books were seen as highly controversial and also very threatening to the average American folk by giving ideas that may be seen as controversial or very sensitive to subject, and now these books are regarded as classics that should not be refuted. Currently, we are seeing a resurgence in many different books being banned at school districts, most notably Beloved and, most recently, Mouse. Mouse being the greatest for debate, which it depicts... Um, acts in the Holocaust and is a representation of Jewish struggle within the Holocaust, all depicted by Cat and Mouse. It won the Pulitzer Prize in 1990, I believe, and it is one of the most influential graphic novels of all time. And as it states right now, it got banned in multiple different school districts in Tennessee and all across the states. Now the question is, why is this important? Why should you care about some random piece of literature just being banned in like these different places? Well, it's mainly the philosophy that you're blocking history. Now, a lot of people are saying, oh, wait, just because it's getting banned in schools and being banned in like a little place doesn't mean you can get it like anywhere else. I can still order it on Amazon and stuff. Well, yeah, of course you can, but what's to say that someday you couldn't? What's to say that this goes larger than just school districts? And what's to say it reaches to publishing companies and it reaches to distribution centers and to where they cannot sell this book based off of law. That's the main concern with these book bans is that a lot of legislation is trying to pass bills to ban what kids should learn in school and what should be distributed for children to see. With Florida being a spear runner in the don't say gay or the don't say woke bill, which would limit like exposure to the critical race theory and um, LGBTQ representation within books and media that they could be like learning, through schools. So what I think a lot of people are scared of is not the fact that they're getting banned in school districts, because I mean, everyone should be able to like read whatever they want to read, but mainly the fact that this could become bigger than what it already is. Hey, Editor Nick here, looking like Fantano. I'm not saying that parents shouldn't limit what their child should see. I mean, you don't want a third grader read in 1984, but mainly Kids should mature with what they're reading and that as they get older, they should look more into darker parts of history and go into it. But the main problem is the books that are being banned really shouldn't be banned and it shows a dark set of history that should be learned. While I agree with some books like involving sexual assault, for example, The Kite Runner, I think there should be a warning within the material, but I don't think the author should be censoring themselves for like the sake of telling a story because a lot of times they are is a meaning behind a lot of what the person says and like the gratuitous and the also like controversial nature of it may be the point. But I definitely think there should be a warning when it comes to certain stuff like that that can maybe trigger people, obviously. But I think history should not be trivialized, which is what I believe people who ban Mouse or Beloved are trying to do. They're trying to stop people from reading these books to where, like, they think, oh, the Holocaust, you know, isn't such a big deal. Like, a bunch of celebrities are now coming out saying a bunch of stuff like that, which, one, is fucking wrong and ignorant. And second, it's gonna make the next generation of adults ignorant and blindsided by some of the atrocities that have happened. Because the importance of history is to know about it so we can't repeat the same mistakes that we've made in the past. And... By blocking certain books that depict the graphic and like terrifying nature of humanity, we are only creating a vicious cycle. Now, you may think that I'm being hyperbolic, and I could be, but there is an importance to banned literature. It could be satire of a dystopian society where women are only viewed as sex objects because of a declining birth rate, i.e. Handmaiden's Tale. It could be education of a horrible event depicted through an allegory of cat and mouse, like mouse. It could be a tale of former slaves who are trying to survive in post-Civil War America, i.e. beloved. And it could be a warning for societies living without some sort of governing system or democracy, i.e. Lord of the Flies. Books have a meaning and books have a story to tell and they are warnings for those who need them most. And the fact that legislation and law enforcers are really trying to limit and also just subject people to different forms of material rather than focusing on the hard truth of life is despicable. Because not only are they blocking actual historical events, they're also limiting the voices of LGBTQ folk, 
um, people of different ethnicity backgrounds, and it's honestly promoting a way more sanitized like system where all everything is just black and white. Because a lot of these books that are being mentioned in like court cases where like they should be banned and whatever are ba are books that like deal with topics of femininity, like homosexuality, like racism, f like slavery, the Holocaust, a bunch of different taboo issues according to America. We can't hide our next generation from everything. They need to know what has happened. We as a species have made a lot of mistakes to other people. We have treated people unfairly. We have done a lot of trouble. And that's what these books are aiming to tell the youth. They're here to make a stance. They are here to tell you this was bad. Don't do this ever again. This is a warning for what could happen again. And well, like I said before, if you're trying to take these books away from the children, well, they're doomed to repeat it. I highly recommend you go and like find a banned book, read it, and think about the decisions that you've made in your life and see if there is a thing you can do to try to help and make sure you can make the world better. Currently, I'm reading The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. This is a very scathing and very interesting satire that goes into just the depths of like sexism. I really enjoy this book a lot and I think you should look for a book that deals with like messages like that. But yeah, this is more of a rant than anything. I just really need to get this off my chest and just tell people like, this is not okay. We cannot have our legislature try to ban and suppress books like this. Like they're important for a reason. They're banned for a reason. So like whenever a book gets banned, you have to read it. Like why do you think sales for it on Amazon and like whatever are skyrocketed for mouse? People are trying to get their hands on it. But yeah, rant over. If you guys want to see more videos like this where I get more serious, please let me know. Anyway, see you guys later.